Welcome back to the channel. On this video, we are in a beautiful, picturesque part of Portland right now. And my friend Keith is with us. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? Good. And so, Keith, where are we at right now and where are we heading on this venture? Okay, well, as you can see, we are under the Burnside Bridge. And we're going to head on back down towards Barton Boulevard, South Portland, to the George Hines City Park. George Himes City Park, all right. Nice little ride. We're going to continue down the, the waterfront trail. So we're going to continue down that way. And, oh, we're going to cross one of the bridges. I've never been over this area, but I think this bridge is really nice. It's only a pedestrian-only bridge, I believe. So we'll see how that works out. Okay. All right. I guess it helps to turn the bike on. Okay, I'm ready now. So let's catch up to Keith. Gonna hear a little noise here.
Oh, yeah. It's by the office. It's right here. I want to check that out. Yeah. And if you come out here at night time, it's all lit up in different colors. It's really cool. You get an awesome view of downtown. Have you been across it on a bike yet? No, you haven't crossed this on a bike yet, have you? No. I, but I've always wanted to come down here. I, I know. I have seen it so many times, but never did. And this will be our first time. No. I'd rather stay on the bike. <laughs> yeah. But if it wasn't so great today, you'd have a perfect view of downtown. Oh, I know. It's a perfect view right here. You know, it was clear sky earlier, but boy, the clouds sure rolled in. It might well clear about noon. That's the Ross Island Bridge. We can go across that sometime. Like, you see the, the museum boat? We are way over there. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. It doesn't take long. These bikes can cover the mileage yeah, this is awesome. and I love the fact that this has a split here designated bike on the left yeah and you're in the that. pedestrian on the right there's nobody around but uh, yeah I like that we need more of this yeah 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 Yeah. I can hit the thing or just go? Um, I guess we'll go for it. That's the screen. There we go.
That was a close call with the door there, yeah, car door. Hey, there's one thing about having a fat tire bike that's good. Well, there's a lot, but one especially is with these train tracks. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I've gotten my wheel caught when I lived in Toronto as a kid in the train track before. With these fat tires, it's kind of hard to do that. They're too wide. Yeah, I've gotten my wheel caught in the streetcar tracks before. Yeah, Cybertruck. Very interesting vehicle. I like those. Those are cool. At least they look cool. Do they? They're bulletproof, right? I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're uh, also upwards of uh, 100000 oh, to start. Yeah, they're very expensive. You want to just end one here? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay, we're going to end the video here at the site of a cyber truck. And there we are. Cyber truck and e-bikes, pretty cool. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that ride here over to the site of Tesla in their back parking lot, and we get to look at a Cybertruck, which is really cool. Let's take a look again from the there front end. Like I like these. These are cool. But they're a little pricey, though. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, if you uh, would like to uh, be notified, you can hit the notification bell. Look at those wipers. They're distracting. Yeah, it's, it's... The wiper. And if you uh, would like to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you to Keith for joining us. And thank you for watching. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road and your Cybertruck wheels. See you later. It's very simple on the inside too. It's just that one screen in the middle. That's it.